Hey, what's up? What's going on? It is Monday morning. Well, actually, in musician language, Monday morning means late Monday afternoon. That's Monday. true. Yeah. Our morning's a little different than your morning. You might even have a snack already <laughs> after your breakfast before lunch. It's probably close to that time. You might even be eating lunch right now, but that's all right. <laughs> we joke, We but we've been up doing stuff. We have a busy week. So. That's right. That's right. We're not just playing the piano all the time. Uh, but we're actually talking about a weekend that we just had with uh, a couple of Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce, yeah. yeah in the, in the uh, St. Louis area, metro oh, wait. area. Who are you? Oh, sorry. I'm Spanky. <laughs> I'm Bill. I guess you figured that out by this point, maybe. I don't know. We're uh, the uh, with Spanky Entertainment doing pianos, and today we're going to talk about Chamber of Commerce. We just did a, uh, one recently uh, this past weekend. We had a gig on Friday night and uh, in Frontenac with the Kirkwood De Pair Chamber of Commerce. It was their annual gala where they gave out a lot of awards to different local businesses in the Kirkwood De Pair area and individual awards to people and things like that. They had a, it was very fancy. It was black tie optional. So Bill and I got all dressed. We were the up. optional. We were the optional. That's true. We didn't have the tie. It just wasn't black. In fact, I had the pink one on. I think we look but, nicer uh, than usual. That I is true. We're not not to say that we look like bums when we're the normal gigs either. We're, it, it went from a I'd say a five to a seven. There you go. Know. There you go. I'll take that. I'll take that rating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hope nobody's out there writing this down. <laughs> I hope they don't show up like slobs. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we should look at some pictures then of what we uh, yeah. did here. So Friday's gig. Normally we, we arrive an hour before the event starts. This one, actually, they had the room all day. And so we went around 1 o'clock in the afternoon to, to load in and set up before we got all fancy dressed up, actually. This kind of shows you... Uh, this is actually one of our sort of secrets. So this is right a secret here. about the piano shelves. Everybody talks about the pianos, and every piano bar out there, except Pat O'Brien's, just about every piano bar out there uses piano shelves with keyboards in them. That way, we can move them, <laughs> control the tuning, volume, etc. So that shows the shell before the piano goes in. There. See, they probably thought the secret was there's no keyboard at all in there. It's just an empty piano. That's true. We, we actually just sit there and we fake it the whole time, and <laughs> we press a button, and we're you know we're we're a Milli, we're the new Millie Vanilli. We're Millie Vanilli of 27. Ouch, <laughs> ouch. So that just shows the room. They're setting up the room and everything. What we see, that's, there you go. Kirkwood, their annual program, dinner going on. Um, yeah, they're just, they got a lot of speeches and dinners and awards. And you can see up there, to, kind of. Uh, they yeah, get so the we had set up earlier and kind of out of the way so that when they're all finished up, they get the podium out of there and we can pull the pianos. Normally, in. we get there, we set up, and we're good to go. This, they asked, they had a big sign 10 foot going on the stage, and we moved out of the way. <laughs> ah, that's right. So now, in case you don't know, it's all requests. We get requests from the audience, and actually, I don't know, if, I think we have a copy of the request slip, but. Uh, uh, they made up special ones for the night, uh, showing you know the chamber name and everything. And this gentleman, we got a request for any Taylor Swift, so we just decided to shake it off. And this gentleman decided to, he couldn't help himself. He was you moved to dance a lot, you know, to dance while we were playing. Break, 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 break. I thought he was gonna like stage dive into a, an empty mosh pit or just flip right in here somewhere. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Oh, yeah, right here. He comes back to the stage, does this little. Looks like he was gonna flip. And I think somebody told me this is the, the uh, owner of Kirkwood Floors. I need to verify that still. This should be good promotion for him, though. I think he get a lot of uh, people coming in. Any, any, any florist that dances like this, right? <laughs> and or blackmail for us. Yeah, uh, that's true. It might be a good blackmail. I, I, I think he doesn't care. Oh, I need some flowers. <laughs> so, well, there you go. There's a good example of that one. Um, do we have any more from yeah. that? Yeah. Oh. All right. No, so then, yeah, so the next night we were we went across the river because we're in St. Louis, Missouri. We went across the river to Belleville, Illinois, and one of our favorite places, actually, where we play about four times a year, uh, the, the Wine Garden in Belleville. And the uh, Smithton, Illinois Chamber of Commerce, this, they had their annual gala. They gave out some awards and whatnot. You know, they had wine and food and dueling pianos. And that was... Uh, so that just kind of, oh, there's Bill right there. Yeah. This was not very while serious. I was playing. He's very serious. I was thinking hard about how we're going to make the best That's party true. possible. He was. Right very... You can see the smoke coming out of his ears. <laughs> now, this one, he's not sure why I'm taking a picture, but I got him next to the piano, so, you know. Starting to perk up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Still thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, they're having dinner and awards at this point uh, before they. Now, the, the difference is for this one, though, like, it was a party with us for what, like three hours straight. Yeah. Right? So the other one that we, the the Kirkwood one we were talking about first, their 
presentation went on a long time. We actually sat out in the hall waiting to perform. And they went 45 minutes over uh, that it was supposed to. And we heard people going out to use the restroom or not and kind of complaining to each other how long it was taking and things like that. So this didn't have that problem. They got they did their ears a little bit earlier. And I don't think they had nearly as many awards. Like two or whatnot. three awards, I think. And um, But this shows that, you know, there's uh, them having a good time, arm in arm. Everybody, yeah, everybody just. Pretty partying. sure they were singing "Friends in Low Places" right there. If I'm There's not Bill mistaken. Bill looking over everybody. So, well, I'm so serious. I, I'm not normally that. He's very serious. serious. He never smiles. We're gonna. If, we, <laughs> if you get Bill to smile at your gig, you must be doing something right. <laughs> oh wait, let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is when the entire place just sang out "Friends in Low Places." Oh, that's right. In fact, oops. little hard to hear, but they were all singing. We were doing very little work at this point. <laughs> there you go. Beers in hand, swaying back and forth. Awesome. And then, I think we have like a, uh, we call it the dentist. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. So, we got another, so that, again, yeah, that was a request. Great Garth Brooks song. Um, Kind of shows you people putting the tips up there than the request. Oh, yeah, yeah so this was we call we call him uh, call him Doctor Joe. We think he's a dentist. Not he's, sure though. We're just yeah, making this up. Just making this up as we go. The gentleman in the suit with the straight hands dancing, and I don't know, but he's having a great time clearly. And we were playing jump around. Another request, by the way, House of Pain. And so he's doing the correct move. He for is that jumping song. around. That is true. Yes. But look at everybody. Look at this. There's not 21 year olds out there. There, we'll say 30 and up. How about that? I buy that. And uh, so, yeah, look, they're just having a great time. And so that's what we do. We play requests. So nobody leaves. Oh, there's another setup from Friday. Oh, yes. The, the, uh, nobody leaves saying, well, I didn't really like the band because we literally, all those songs are something that somebody wrote down on a, on a piece of paper and put it on our pianos and we played it. You know, you got, uh, we also, oh, also at the Wine Garden, they have another room next door. They had a 50th anniversary party going on and Bill brought the couple over actually and found out what their first dance song was 50 years ago. What's, what's that was it? out there, man. Yeah, it was some like church or whatever. Yeah, Yeah, oh, wow. but it was cool, but they loved it. We brought them out. They danced, uh, you know, everybody cheered, clapped. It was just another special moment for them, and it was it was neat. And actually, so there was a, there were a bunch of people in that room, and uh, somebody kept breaking out their phone and videoing us a lot of different songs because we were getting requests for Spice Girls and Baby Got Back and things like that and playing them. So the guy kept recording. We found out after the gig that they were at the wedding show that we were at recently and had met us there, but they didn't. They hadn't thought too much about it. And then when they saw us in action, and then I didn't even tell Bill this yet. Actually, so since the gig, I've got an email from the the mo mother of the of the either the groom or the bride, and now they're very interested in uh, learning more about what we can do for their wedding. Awesome! So, that was like eighty percent of the night. I saw a yeah. hand like sticking out of the door. Yeah, with, with, a, with a phone, <laughs> just video us constantly. It was kind of funny. Oh wait, I think one of my favorite pictures is in here. Uh, actually, is the waiting. Uh, yes. Oh, oh there. <laughs> so there's me waiting. The, 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 the waiting is the hardest part. It is our least favorite part it of the is. gig. We, we like to perform. We like to rock out. We like to you know play music. This is when, this, this is the gig that we look. It was forty five minutes into our performance time, and <laughs> I like to perform, so <laughs> that's funny. Is At least I'm all dressed up and not all looking bum. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, there's some of the sponsors and people that were there for uh, Friday nights chamber of commerce event. There, there's a request slip. So they awesome. made. They, they, I always send you my uh, basic template for request slip, and they and then I ask. You know, you guys can change it and customize it. I always just ask that you leave Spanky Entertainment name on there, which they left my logo and our website, which is appreciated, spankyentertainment.com. But then, uh, you know, they, they left most of it. They just added their stuff to it. It's pretty cool. Of course this now. This is actually really So you got You're funny. So Vain, Captain and Tenille now. But Captain and T yeah, T Neil. Neil. That's true. T Neil. T Neil. Like I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure they didn't do that song ever. I mean, maybe they covered it, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. So this is kind of the fun stuff that we see. I thought it would sound cool with dueling pianos. <laughs> uh -huh. Deep Dark Secret. I used to like older men until I got older. Now I just admire muscles. But did you notice they scratched out, I like older men? So it went. then it put, I used to. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> <laughs> and it came from Ivy. There you go. So, Ivy, if you're out there and see this video, we've got your request. Though. We appreciate it. <laughs> just go to the website. There you go. So that just kind of shows you we have we've done a lot of com chamber of commerce gigs. Uh, uh, we go to across the state near Kansas City to the Nevada Verde County Chamber of Commerce. We did 
This will be our fourth year out of five. We did the first couple years. They didn't have us back for a year. And then I heard from my contact over there who said that they uh, kind of got lambasted for not having us back <laughs> and signed us to a three-year contract. So this is actually the second of three years that will be in this contract. I heard from them actually again today, just cool. letting us know they changed venues. Um, we've done, we Pacific, Missouri, Chamber of Commerce. This was the fifth year we did their annual fundraiser. They have a different organization uh, or business in the community that they're trying to help raise money for senior c- senior centers, the high school, stuff like that. It was the fifth year. People ask, well, does it kind of die off? No, this was actually, it was a sellout. It was the busiest year they've ever had, and there's no signs of slowing down. Uh, it, a big part of what we do is, is, is you getting out there in your community and promoting it to people and letting them know. You get the people there, we'll make sure they have fun. It's cool because it kind of comes back around, like you were saying. We'll go and play the Chambers of Commerce where those guys, the business owners, can go and just have a party. And then they'll book us for fundraisers and do that. And then that sort of feeds back in again to the next year. And it's Absolutely. Just, yeah. we're just, we're our, our entertainment is perfect for a lot of different type of events. We have uh, the St. Genevieve... St. Genevieve, Missouri Chamber of Commerce that books us every July. This will be the fourth or fifth year. And their little secret is there's actually a, a fair that goes on in town that same weekend that we play every year. And they have us that same night because we're something, we, it sells out every year. We're, we are a draw. In fact, we've been doing two hours every year. And this year they extended it. They want a, a third hour for, uh, performance time because people are having so much fun. Another little secret is we can be sponsored just like anything else, just just like it, uh, the what the Kirkwood de Pair, right? We were sponsored. Yeah, it was Jim, a sponsor. Yeah, Jim that- Butler Automotive Group sponsored the entertainment, which was what paid for us. So a lot of the a lot of these uh, gigs that we do for Chamber of Commerce, they go out to the local businesses and they get hundred, two fifty, five hundred dollars sponsorships, and you'll get enough that will cover what it costs to bring us out there. What does it cost? You'll have to contact me to uh, find out what that is. We travel the country doing this. Uh, last year, we were in 10 different states, I believe, as far as Michigan, and I think Colorado were probably our two farthest. We, in Colorado, we did a, a country club out there and then also a fundraiser for a school in Colorado. Uh, they, they had had a uh, doing pianos for the previous two years from somebody else. Weren't completely satisfied with what they had, and they brought us all the way out from St. Louis and pretty sure we'll be back next year, so I have to contact them about that. Uh, yeah, Chamber of Commerce is always looking for something different in their community. You're looking for something fun. Um, you can do you can do uh, 21 and up, or you can do something of all ages. We play for kids, you know. We, people come up and ask for Disney, Frozen, stuff like that, right? We play for senior centers, you know, uh, where we're, we're playing Gershwin and uh, Moon River and, you know, stuff. Yeah, Meet Me in St. Louis. Yeah, right. stuff like that. So... so well, that's, uh, yeah, speaking oh, of contact info, yes. I forgot, I, I can't forget this one. Remember the, I think it was you and I even, Perryville Chamber of Commerce annual gala. Oh, yeah, we yeah. had the mayor of Perryville at the time, and this has been four or five years. She was up on a table. Somebody paid. This was like a legal bribe. Right? Yeah, it was like a legal bribe. Somebody <laughs> paid, and I think they were raising money, and the mayor got up on the table and danced while we were playing, so... Uh, you never know what's going to happen with these Chamber of Commerce. It's not a bunch of stuffy business people, that's for sure. I've yeah. learned that. <laughs> Everybody comes to have a good time. Well, you saw the people dancing and whatnot. You, a lot of people are worried about that. No, people just want to have a, a, an adult night out sometimes. Have some, you know, at the wine garden, they had some wine and food and uh, doing pianos. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of contact info, and I'll, we'll put this up on the screen uh, once we get this video together. So, uh, just go to the website, spankyentertainment.com. That's mm-hmm. really the best place to go. We'll toss a phone number and an email up here for 314-753-3062. you. 314-753-3062. You can call me right now. Do it. Do it. All right. Um, it's time for a nap, I think. Yes, uh, yes. You guys keep keep out there in the world, and we're going to take a little nap. <laughs> That's because we compress an entire work week into like three days. That's, that's true. We had like seven gigs this past week. Rationalization. So there we are. All right. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you later.